In this part, we're gonna be creating a filter component. Here we need to add filter.js and use RCC tab to create class-based filter class. What we wanna do is to create a filter bar like this, which comprises of three parts. The first one is the number of founded products. The second one is the order by select. And the last one is filtering by size. Let's create this filter in the project. First of all, we need to edit the app.js right before products. We add filter which auto import from components slash filter. You will see the filter imported here and it accept size which comes from this dot state that size also it accept sort which also comes from this dot state dot sort also the filter need handle change size this dot handle change size and also handle change sort which will be this dot handle change sort the last attribute of filter will be number of products which is count it is the length of filter to product great here is the usage of filter and we put an hr that's it we have the filter and we need to implement the filter bar in the filter.js first of all we need to create a roof and put three columns there we use call md4 to create three columns this is the first one, second one, and the third one. In the first one, we want to show the number of products. So it is like this, this dot props, because in the app.js, we passed the count to the filter components as a props. So here we use this dot props dot count products found. Here you see the result nine products found it's time to create sort box the sort will be here let's put this inside label and here we see order by and put a select here which its class name is form control and its value comes from props sort and the unchange method also comes from props handle change sort and here where the options goes option the first option value is empty its value is select so the default sort by id the second one is lowest to highest so we need to implement the handle change sort in the app.js because the handle change sort comes from the property and the property here is handle change sort let's implement handle change sort which accept the event argument and here only we use set state here is time to implement list products use this dot set state and we use the second form of set state which takes the current state as a parameter for set state and inside here we need to return the next state first of all we need to check the value of the state dot sort if it's not empty we sort by the value of the state dot sort here we use the sort method of arise in javascript state.products.sort sort method accepts 
to object of array we need to return one or minus one based on the result of sorting criteria so first of all we need to check state dot sort if it's lowest we check the value of a dot price less than b dot price we return one else we return minus one and if the state dot sort is highest we change the criteria and make it reverse greater than if the state dot sort is not empty if it's lowest or highest it will be sorted based on the product price else we sort them based on the id if a dot id smaller than b dot id return one else return minus one and close the sort method at the end it will return filter products equal to state dot products great so we have sorted products here and we set them to the filter product let's check the result here you see the order by the first one is select a second one lowest to highest and the highest to last you will see nothing applied let's check why it doesn't work very good we need to set the key for the items inside products here inside the map we need to set a key which it value is product.id let's resolve these errors and you see it doesn't work again there is a typo error here handle change we need to change the handle change sort with handle change sort here that's it if you select you see there is an error cannot read property set a state of undefined handle change sort we need to bind the handle change sort in the constructor we need to bind this and check the result you see it works if you select to highest to lowest oh it's it's reversed we need to change it the sorting criteria we need to change and here what we need to do is to change the direction of comparing let's check the result lowest to highest you see it's lowest to highest highest to lowest and by id here is the default one lowest to highest price highest to lowest price and the default one is based on their id great we implemented the sort let's go for filtering by size to filter by size we need to implement select inside the third column let's copy from the sort and change it to filter size and change the handle change sort to handle change size and here the value will be size and the select options is this values all the value is empty x s m l x l x x l you see the options here in the app.js we need to implement handle change size by duplicating the handle change sort and replacing the sort by size and here also we set the size and in the constructor method we need to bind size like this because we need to access this dot set state which this need to point to the app component so what remains here is uh, implementing filter inside set state in the list product so here we check the value of size if it's not empty it's not empty we return an object which filter the products is state dot products dot filter and we need to only filter 
the products which the available sizes property contain the state that size avail sizes dot index of state dot size if there is an item inside available sizes which equal to state dot size its index are zero or greater than zero make the size to uppercase you see the XL filtered only the t-shirt that have at least one XL size shows in the e-commerce shopping cart application. That's it. We implemented the order by and filtering by size and we are ready to implement the add to basket part which will be placed here and you can add products to the basket in the next part of e-commerce shopping cart application.